Today I'm going to break down the Destiny 2 Warmind reveal teaser trailer and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here and welcome to Guardian Watcher. If it's your first time here and you enjoy learning all things about Destiny, then hit the subscribe button and click on the bell, that way you guys don't miss out on any future videos. Warning! There are spoilers ahead, so leave now if you don't want any spoilers. You have 5 seconds. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You have been warned. So earlier today, Bungie had released their Destiny 2 Expansion 2 Warmind Reveal teaser trailer. Now, this video is going to be a breakdown of that teaser trailer, and I will give my thoughts as we go through it. Due to the stricter copyright and YouTube rules and regulations, I will not be playing the trailer myself, but I will put a link to it in the description for those who want to go see it for themselves. Now, if I miss anything from the teaser trailer, or if you've seen something that I didn't mention, please let everybody know in the comments below. So the trailer starts off with three guardians in a new area, which happens to be Mars, a new destination in Destiny 2. But most of us already knew that. What we didn't know is that the Soros regime will be making a return in Destiny 2 as shown here. Well, this new expansion is called the Warmind and you can't have a Warmind without the Hive, which is very similar to the original Destiny. The new area on Mars that we will be visiting is called Hella's Basin. The war mine does go underground, but as you can see from this picture, there is an ice cavern with a lot of icicles on the ceiling as well. But, given that this is Mars and this part is complete speculation, it is possible that the planet's temperature will change from scorching hot during the day to freezing cold at night, which is why we see depictions of the war mine in a hot area as well as a cold one. We will be getting a new survival mode in Destiny 2 called Escalation Protocol, where we will be fighting off hordes of Hive. Personally, I think that this is an awesome idea and a new addition to the franchise, but it's actually kind of funny because many of us Guardians have been wanting this since the original Destiny, and I'm actually just glad that it's happening now. We will be getting new gear and weapons that have a Warmind theme that will also be coming with Expansion 2. The weapon that this Titan is holding looks to be a new shotgun, and we know how many Guardians love those. And here, you can actually see that Titan's helmet a little bit better. It looks to be a 3 player activity, and instead of surviving until time runs out, like in most survival game modes, we will have to eliminate all Hive before the time expires. As we can see, there is a level system present, so with all survival game modes, it'll get harder as we progress. Next, Exotics will begin upgrades as well, but we already knew that from the newest developer roadmap update. And if you guys don't know what the developer roadmap update entails, then I will put an annotation at the top right of the screen right now. But also, the Crucible will be getting updates as well. Unfortunately, we don't know what those updates are just yet as of this teaser trailer. Now, what is that that the Hunter is holding? Well, it's not a new super for your pole dancer because when we use our super, our entire body glows and that goes for every subclass. In this picture, only the weapon glows and it forms a shield before making impact on the ground. Now, this could possibly be a new exotic or a new weapon that's in the area of the war mine, similar to the axes that spawned in the Rise of Iron. But I guess we'll just have to wait and see. And that's pretty much it. The reveal will be tomorrow, April 24th at 10 a.m. Pacific Time, which is 1 p.m. Eastern Time. You can catch the reveal at twitch.tv forward slash Bungie, and I will also be doing a breakdown of the entire reveal, so stay tuned for that. And if you guys enjoyed this video, then feel free to watch these other videos as well. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more, because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.